Welcome to week's, this week's press preview alongside Scott Ritchie. I'm Aaron Dow. Uh, we got one basketball team left, and it's Lincoln, who's playing uh, Tuesday, uh, probably tonight if you're, if you're watching this. It's uh, playing Cahokia, a team that they played way back in November. Uh, and really, you know, I, I feel like probably both teams have had a lot to go through in the time since then. Uh, Lincoln had an 11-point win, but uh, now, Scott, what do you think Lincoln has to do tonight to, to, to beat Cahokia? Well, I'm not sure you, know, you can base anything off of a November 30th right. <laughs> win, but um, Lincoln, you know, did kind of you know set the, the standard for what they needed to do. You know, they held Darius Austin, you know, Cahokia's number one player, going to you know, Missouri, Kansas City, you know, to be a Roo, uh, you know, to three points in that game, and Gavin Block, you know, had 20. So I think you know if that happens, you know, Lincoln, you know, should be in a, a really good place uh, tonight in the super sectional, and then. They're just going to have to make sure that they you know, run their system and maybe control the pace because you know, Koki also has a, a D1 point guard, C.J. Rivers, is going to Drake. So they have some athletes mm -hmm. and could, could get, maybe get out and run a little bit on Lincoln. But you know, Lincoln, you know, if they slow things down, run a little half-court game like they kind of do best, I don't see why you know, the Railers aren't going to state. And Lincoln's in the mi middle of a really good defensive stretch right now. They pl beat Champaign Central uh, by 17, held them to 30 points, uh, and Chatham Glenwood to, to 29. Uh, and really, in this entire playoff run, you know, MacArthur had 44. That was the, it was a two-point win for Lincoln. That's the closest uh, anyone's played Lincoln uh, all throughout the postseason so far. It seems like Lincoln's really in a, a good spot right now. They're, they're playing. Uh, as good as they played, you know, maybe since that beginning of the year where they were blowing out teams and really playing as good defensively as uh, as they've had since then. So uh, you you look at Cahokia's roster and you think maybe maybe there's a little bit of a size difference between Lincoln and Cahokia, and, and there is. And they have a, a six ki six uh, ten kid uh, in Devonte Williams who who plays a little bit. I think he only averages about five points a game. Uh, but like you said, you know, Darius Austin is kind of the their main offensive weapon, and but but still, I mean, Lincoln, you know, Gavin Block had 20, like you said, I mean, able to, to to get inside and you know work against uh, you know, Cahokia's interior, and then Lincoln, you know, they continue to shoot those threes like they do. Yeah, I think Lincoln has a, a good shot to make it back to state. No, I mean, it has to be said, you know, Cahokia was the state runner-up last year in 3A, and and you know. Aust Darius Austin was on that team. C.J. Rivers was on that team. So they have you know the experience of the of these big games, but I just I mean so I have a feeling like this is Lincoln's year. I mean thing, you know, they lost two games back to back nights, you know to this Lanfear and then Champagne Central, and they have since you know beaten you know both of them you know in the last month, on, in the midst of an 18 game winning streak. They're the number one team in the state right now. I mean things are going Lincoln's way, and you know, the way they're playing. I don't see why it shouldn't continue. And from that second place team, I mean, Rivers and Austin were the only two guys that really got any significant minutes on you know, that, that playoff run. So yeah, I mean, it is, it's a, you know, a different team. I mean, those two, the two good players are back. But uh, yeah, Lincoln, uh, they have a, a lot of seniors on that team. And, and obviously Gavin Black, you know, Jr. That, it does kind of feel like uh, they're running and beating you know, the, the Central and, and, you know, Getting past uh, that game, I think that was kind of a, a big hurdle uh, after you know losing to them earlier in the season. So it should be interesting to watch, uh, and and really, I mean, this is about as close of a home game as you can get. You know, Cahokia. I mean, it's it's not a, a long drive. I mean, it's still an hour and a half though. Uh, but Lincoln, I feel like it's going to pack the Peoria Capital Convention Center in Springfield. Uh, they, you know, Lincoln always has a good home crowd. You know, it's a it's a 20, 30 minute drive to to Springfield. So I feel like. They, that's just about as uh, as friendly as they're going to have as yeah. far as uh, confines go. So it should be it should be a really good game to watch between too. Yeah, and just you know one thing, you know Lincoln just you know can't sleep on uh, Tarkus Ferguson. He's a sophomore guard for Cahokia, and actually you know, him along with Gary Hickman, they were the leading scorers in Cahokia's sectional championship win against Marion, where you know maybe Marion did a little better job against Austin and Rivers. So you know you shut down the big guys, but you know, Lincoln can't let someone else you know beat them. We got uh, spring sports. Uh, you know, we're, we're in the middle of the uh, the Saint T tournament right now for girls soccer. Uh, softball and baseball are starting up this week, and uh, you know, uh, it's, it seems like there's a whole lot of pitching coming back, uh, especially in the county. Uh, you know, T Town's always good, um, and so it's, there's, a lot, there's a lot of knowns. You know, you kind of have <laughs> in this season. But is there someone that you're kind of looking at as maybe people aren't talking about so far? Yeah, and I mean, maybe I'm not going out on. 
you know, too narrow of a limb. But I, I picked you know, a, a baseball player from T Town, you know, you know, Lewis Niemer. He's a junior that you know he's been around, but you know, he hasn't maybe had you know his chance to be you know one of you know the guys for T Town. But he's a 6'3", 195 pound third baseman, you know, righty pitcher, you know, good arm, you know, on the mound and a you know, third. I think you know this is maybe the year where he. You know, I mean, he gets his you know real shot, and you know, just is another one of those. You know, where is T Town coming up with these guys? Because right. I, I think he'll play a really significant role, and you know, I would consider you know T Town right now at least you know one of the favorites in two A. I'm going to go a little closer to to Main County here. I'm from Meridian, uh, Hayden Damry is a sophomore uh, at, at Meridian. They have. Uh, some some injuries last year that you know he had to come up as a freshman and pitch uh, and had all three of their wins from last year H- had a great game against Maroa in the playoffs last year held them to just two runs uh, I know Sean Martin was really impressed with his location and you know where he was able to put the ball uh, and I think you know I think he's maybe someone to watch it you know see how you know that develops and uh, you know for a Meridian team that you know kind of struggled a little bit last year I think you know getting some of those players back including Damry uh, should be interesting to see how how that plays out, but I think you know he should be uh, a pitcher to watch this year. Which just adds you know another one to the yeah. the countless arms <laughs> in the county right now. It should be really interesting, you know, spring with. I think we have a, a potential for a lot of good baseball and softball teams you know, in the area. Yeah, so uh, our baseball previews out. Make sure you check that out online. Our softball preview is coming very shortly. Uh, just make sure you check that out as well, and we'll have continuing coverage of Lincoln and their run uh, at hrpreps.com. Thanks.